Janet. I'm so happy we have been friends for long. And our children have decided to get married to each other. Yes. It's a blessing. Layla. I'm so happy I will be getting married to a doctor. With my current condition I believe God wants this for me. Yes. You are lucky my dear. I'm happy for you. What's the occasion my dear? So you mean when I take you out? There must be an occasion we are celebrating. What is it then? You see I'm going back to the UK for the next two years to pursue my medical career. Then I will come back, work for a year, then we will get married. I'm happy to hear that. You see my mom is so happy that at last we have decided to date. This friendship is turning into a family. Tomorrow evening I will be traveling to the UK. Since you will be having exams, my mom will take me to the airport. Journey mercies dear. And when you come back, don't forget to bring me something. Thanks. I will. My son. I will drive you tomorrow to the airport. Actually Maya isn't coming. So I wanted to tell you the same thing. Maya is having exams tomorrow. It's okay my son. My daughter. I'm happy that you guys decided to date at last. Actually Albert is a good guy also considering your situation. And Albert knows you well. The good thing, Albert is studying medicine. Soon he will be a doctor. We have been close since childhood. I'm hopeful he will treat me well. You see now. That's why I always preferred that you two should be together. I agree. I will miss you son. Please call often. I will mom. It's only two years as compared to the four years that have been in UK. I know time flies. Right? Yes. When I come back. Maya would have completed her final year. Then I will get married to her. I see you guys have planned everything. Not much. We will plan a lot by then. I really thank God for delivering me from the world. The drug addiction, pornography, masturbation, stealing, women. God is indeed great. This path that I have chosen will lead me to eternal life that Christ has promised us. Enoch, pastor is calling you in his office. I'm coming. Enoch, you have really grown so fast in this ministry. And I am proud of you my son. I called you here because you know time flies. Do you have a girlfriend? No pastor. I don't have a girlfriend. Okay. But right now at this stage, you need to get married. Okay pastor. I have heard you. I will think about it. Thanks for your concern. Good. That's what I wanted to tell you. You can take your leave now. It's true about what the pastor said. I need a wife. But where will I get the woman of Proverbs chapter 31 verse 10 to 31? I will call my friends and when they see a godly woman, they let me know. Hey bro. How are you doing? How is the ministry taking you? It's fine. We thank God. A lot of people are coming to Christ. That's good to hear. Actually I need your help. What is it bro? I need a wife. But I don't see any lady around here that I can make a wife. So how do you want me to help you? If you see any lady in church who speaks in tongues, I believe that can make a good wife. Bro you are funny. Okay. I will inform you when I see one. Thanks bro. I will be waiting for you a call. Okay. No problem. Hey James. How are you? I'm doing good bro. What's up? I'm good. I need your help bro. What is it? I need a wife. I thought you are in trouble. So where do you want me to get you a wife from? No. I'm not in trouble. I wanted to tell you. If you see a godly lady who can speak in tongues, Please tell me. Bro you must be joking. But I have heard you. I will let you know when I see one. That girl speaks in tongues. The Holy Ghost is with her. Let me call Enoch. Hello bro. I have seen the girl you wanted. Please hurry up before the service ends. I am coming right now. On my way. I pray I get there before she leaves. You have come so fast. Yes. Where is she? See how she is filled with the Holy Spirit. That must be my missing rib. I will wait for the service to end then talk to her. Okay. I have done my part. Now do the rest. Thanks. Hey beautiful lady. My name is Enoch. I have been watching you. I love how you are filled with the Holy Spirit. You speak in tongues. Thank you. I'm humbled. How do they call you? 
My name is Favor. Wow. What a nice name. Thank you. I would love to know you more. Can we go for a cup of coffee some other day? I'm so sorry. I'm not interested. Please, Favor. You never know where this friendship will take us. You see, Anik. I don't want this friendship to go anywhere. You are not my type. What? She did this to me. I have wasted my energy and time to come all the way to see her. And this is what she can do. Enoch, how did it go? She said I'm not her type. I am so sorry. Will you continue looking for another one? I can still help you. I hope you find a good one next time. Maya, would you come to my church this week? I will go to my church. Maybe next time. Please Maya, you will learn a lot. We have a youth program the whole of this coming week. What will be the theme? Choosing right. Wow, interesting. But not for me. I already have someone. Please Maya. You can still come and learn. Okay. I will come if you insist. Thanks for honoring my invitation. Layla. Who is that guy over there? Who? The guy wearing a white shirt and a red tie. That's Evangelist Enoch. He was ordained last month. What? What's wrong Maya? Why are you surprised? We schooled in the same high school. And he was a very bad guy. Everything bad that happened in school, he was the mastermind. He used to take drugs and they even planned to burn the school, but they were caught and suspended. Oh I didn't know that. But now he is a new creature. The old him is passed away. I see. People can really change. I'm amazed. We thank God for transforming him. Yes. Hey Maya. How are you doing? Long time. It's really a long time. I'm happy seeing you here. I'm happy too. You haven't changed. You are still the girl I knew back in high school. You guys are talking. You don't see me here. Oh we forgot. Sorry Layla. Mom. I saw one of the students we schooled together in high school. He is an evangelist now. But back then, he used to engage in all bad things you can think of. I was surprised seeing him. Wow. That's great. Everyone will have to hear the gospel. The message of Christ will be preached to all nations, then the end will come. Some will be told about the message and they will refuse to listen. But you know what? It will be recorded in heaven that the message was brought to them but they rejected it. I thank God he came to light. Tomorrow we will go to church. Yes. I will come. I will be waiting for you. I am happy to see a lot of young people attending this program. You are our next generation. When you choose a life partner, there are some real qualities you have to look at. Number one. Choose someone who is godly, a God-fearing person, kind, caring, loyal and many other more. Don't choose someone as the world does. Tall, dark and handsome. Those of the world consider a little. They only focus more on the physical appearance and neglect the spiritual life of that individual. If you are in a relationship that does not praise God, please you need to think of how to get out. It is better to break an engagement than to break a marriage. Marriage is holy. So my children, take your time while choosing a life partner. I have learned a lot. Thanks for inviting me to this program. You are welcome. I knew you will love it. Hello Albert. How are you doing? I am doing good Maya. How was your day? It was great. I attended a youth program at Layla's church. And it was really awesome. I really learned a lot. Do you mind sharing what you learned with me? So the speaker of the day talked about how choosing your life partner is really important to a Christian, since marriage affects our lives now and the life after. Interesting. I would love you to tell me more, but right now I'm tired. I want to rest. Let me pray before I sleep. Thank you Lord for the gift of life. Thank you Lord for the powerful program we had. Now as I sleep cover me with your blood and all the members of my household. For this I pray through Christ's holy name. Amen. Leave him for me. No. He is my future husband. I won't like him to go. Just leave him for me. He is not yours. Please stop it. You are making a lot of noise. What? Why did I dream that we are two women fighting for one man? 
Let me just pray about it. Layla. Last night I had a strange dream. A certain lady and I were fighting for Albert. That's funny. Someone wants to take your future husband. Layla I'm serious. Okay. Did you pray about it? Yes I did. Then leave it to God. Good. Hello Maya. I will be coming for an evangelism around your school. Will you come and say hi to me? No problem Enik. How did the evangelism go? It was amazing. I'm really amazed how you have transformed. Indeed when Christ is in you, you change and start acting like him. It is peaceful. Stay in Christ and don't be a friend to the world. I met Christ when all my group gang members were killed and I was the only one who survived. That was an awakening call for me, since that day God chose to spare my life. I decided I will work for him. The energy I used when I was in the world. I am going to double it and use it for God's work. Amen. I am happy for you. My two years are almost over. I love Maya and also I love Queen. What should I do? I am in a dilemma. My parents back at home are so happy that Maya and I are dating. I see Maya as a childhood friend. I don't even know how we started dating. I wish that something comes up so that we can break up. I am really confused. Albert has really changed. He doesn't call me as he used to. I really don't understand him. I will ask him tonight. Hey Albert. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? Fine too. Albert you have changed. You don't call me, you don't text me. What's the problem? Nothing is wrong. It's just that I have a project I'm working on. So most of the time I do research. That's not a good reason. You always text me even when you are busy. I'm sorry. I will change on that. I know you Albert. Since we were kids. Is there anything bothering you? No. I'm fine. Okay then. Hello bro. There is this girl I have seen. I really need you to come very fast and see her. She speaks in tongues. She is filled with the Holy Spirit. That church is far. But I'm coming. I hope this is the one. Let me go and see her. The service is over. I wish you could have seen her. There's no problem. Just show me where she is. I will talk to her. Okay. Elizabeth. Meet my friend Anik. Nice to meet you Anik. Anik. I have some work I need to attend to. I will be back. Elizabeth will keep you company. Okay. No problem. So this is where you fellowship? Yes. But I have never seen you here. Oh yes. I fellowship in the side of town. I just came to visit my friend James. That's nice. Do you mind giving me your number? So I can call you for coffee when I pass by here. It's okay. No problem. Wow. You are so nice. Thank you. I have to get going. See you. That girl is the one. I believe she is my missing rib. All the best bro. She is a good girl. Maya. I am coming home tomorrow. Will you come and pick me at the airport? Yes sure. I will come. I am so happy our son is coming back after the six years in UK. He is finally coming home for good. Don't be so sure. You never know. He might want to go back to UK and work there. Don't say that. Your son has grown. He is no longer a child. He is a man now. He will one day leave you and start a family. I don't want to think how I will be missing him. Queen. I'm not going to live in my country. I will come back for you one day. You won't. You are going for good. Just trust me. I will come back for you. If you stay long. I won't think twice getting married to another man. I have heard you. Should I go back to Maya? But now I see her as my sister and not my girlfriend. What will I do? Will I get married to someone I'm not attracted to anymore? How will that marriage be? No I can't do this to Maya. Maya is a good girl. I will have to tell her. Welcome to your country. My country. It's our country. Layla. Albert is back, and I don't feel him anymore. Also because of the dream, I think I don't trust him. I feel like he is seeing someone else. Don't say that. Three years dating, and now you don't want to continue. You already did the introduction to your parents. How will you stop it? You are talking as if you never attended the seminar. 
Remember what the preacher said. It's better to break an engagement than to break a marriage. I had already prayed about it and now I feel like telling him that we should stop it. I can't continue with someone I don't love anymore. I'm just being honest. My dear. Albert is a good man. I think you guys should just get married. This will hurt Albert so much. He will get over it with time. Okay then. Hello Albert. I want us to meet and talk about something. I also want to tell you something. Okay then. We will plan and meet. Hello Elizabeth. Can we meet this afternoon for coffee? It's okay with me. Let me send you the address. Okay. I will be there in an hour. Thanks. You made it. I had to. I always keep my promises. I really like you Elizabeth. I would like us to be more than friends. As in what do you mean? I would like you to be my wife someday. Oh no. There is an emergency at home. Can we meet another time? Can I come with you? No. I have to go please. Okay. Hope everything is okay. Can you please lend me $100? I will refund it. Okay. Let me send to you. Thanks. I will send you the money. See you. Can I withdraw $100? Yes you can. I have already withdrawn the money. Okay. Here is your money. Thank you. They have gone with my phone. These thieves. How will I communicate with Anik? Albert. I would like us to talk about something. I don't know how you will take this. But I have to tell you. My love for you is dying away. I don't know why. I was praying. Then after the prayer I felt like I don't love you anymore. What? You are not serious. After dating for three years. I know. I'm so sorry Albert. It's okay. I can't force you to marry me. You'll still remain to be my best friend. I really thank God that I wasn't the one who has ended the relationship. It's a coincidence that we both felt the same way about each other. I will call Queen to come to my country now. This is the fifth time I'm calling Elizabeth and it's not going through. I wonder why. Let me call James. Hey bro. I have been calling Elizabeth and it's not going through. I don't know what's the problem. Hello bro. I got to transfer to the city. I haven't seen her for a while now. But let me try calling her too. Thanks bro. I'll really appreciate it. She is unreachable. I wonder why. Bro. She is unreachable I don't know what is the problem. It's okay then. Let us hope she is fine. A new number calling me. Who might this be? Let me pick and hear who is this. Hello Enik. It's me Elizabeth. Hello Elizabeth. Where have you been? I tried to find you everywhere. I'm so sorry about that. My phone was stolen that day. And as I left, I never managed to tell you I was also to relocate because I got a job in a far town. I decided to buy a new phone and a new number. I got your number from a friend. So I called so that I can even return the money I borrowed. And invite you to my wedding which is in two months time. What? You must be joking, right? No Enik. I'm serious. I have even sent you the invitation. Okay. It hurts me. But I'll come to your wedding. I wish you a happy marriage in advance. Thank you. I'm tired chasing these ladies. Now let me be patient. Dear Lord help me get a good wife. You are the one who knows where my rib is. I saw your son with another lady. Albert brought her home. He said they are not in love with each other anymore. But we are the ones who pushed them to be in the relationship. Let's just leave them. Their happiness is our happiness. Whoever they choose to marry, let us just accept it. You are right. I agree with you. Maya, you have been close to me like a sister. But I like you more than that. I would love to spend my life with you. Will you accept to marry me? You are joking, right? I'm serious Maya. But we haven't been even in a relationship. I don't see a big deal on that since we have known each other for long now. Enoch, I have been having this condition ever since I was a young girl. The doctors said I won't be able to give birth. Do you want to marry a barren woman? Those are doctors who said so. But what has God said about you? Have experienced so much love from God. We will pray and fast on this. I am willing to marry you. 
I love you, and we will have a child one day. Anik, are you sure about this? Yes. 100%. I believe in God. My son. I'm waiting for my grandchild. Mom. There is still time. No hurries. Your mom already is asking for a grandchild, even one year is not over. Don't worry. The God who gave Sarah, Hannah and Rachel children, will give us a child too. My mates are happily with their children, and I don't have any. I will go to see a doctor. Doctor. Please help me. I really need a baby. We will try our best. You'll be coming here for checkups. So that we can see if we can get rid of the problem. Thank you, doctor. Right now we will do some tests and see what we can help. Okay then. If you continue coming we do more tests and monitoring. You'll surely get a baby. Where did you go my dear wife? I went to see a doctor. I want to see if I can get a baby. So what did the doctor say? The doctor said they will try and help me. But you also need to go for a checkup. I already went for one. When was that? Which hospital? And why didn't you tell me? God checked me, and he said I'm fertile, and in due season. I'll get the child. I'm serious here. I thought you went to see a doctor. God is the greatest physician. Okay. As you say. Maya. What are you doing here? You remember back then when we were in campus? I told you I can't carry a baby. Yes, I remember. I came so that the doctor can try and see if I can get a baby. Maya, please. Why stress yourself? You see this doctor you are coming to. He is also praying for the fruit of the womb. I have been talking to him. Why don't you just look unto Jesus? What? You are lying, Layla. The doctor has been married to his wife for 10 years now, with no child. It is true. Let me go back to my God. The Bible clearly indicates in Isaiah chapter 8 verse 19. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep, and that mutter. Should not a people seek unto their God? For the living to the dead? I think you went to see the doctor. Yes. I met Layla. And she told me that the doctor's wife is also praying for a child. The people you are seeking help from, need help too. Only our God will be able to help each one of us. Yes, it's good to see a doctor. But we should be more dependent on God. Yes. I realized that today. And I have decided to look unto the Lord, and wait for God of my salvation. And my God will hear me. Amen, amen. I was also looking for a wife up and down. But when I left all to God, I found you. Just rest at the feet of Jesus and all the burden we have. Christ will take care of them. For God says his yoke is easy and his burden light. That's true my husband. I agree with you. I'm not feeling well my husband. I will take you to the hospital and get tested. My stomach is really bloated. Let's just go now. Maya. Congratulations. You are four weeks pregnant with twins. Glory and honor be unto God. You have done it. There is nothing God cannot do. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, thank you Lord. Hallelujah. Our God never leaves his children alone. After waiting for many years, he has finally answered our prayers. You are so faithful Lord. My husband, it's now 15 years since we got married. God has blessed us with four children. I am now called a mother. Truly there is nothing impossible to God. Amen. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Be blessed.